joined by Greg McKay. Greg, thanks for joining us this morning. No problem. You have a solid year of pro under your belt, and uh, one in which you played very well, and particularly when it became crunch time. Near the end of the season for the Marlies, pushed to the playoffs last year. Uh, you relied upon heavily in the postseason, uh, both uh, to contribute offensively, but also on the faceoff dot. Reflecting back, how uh, how do you see your how did you take in your first year of pro, and and what were some things you liked, and what were some things you learned from it? Yeah, um, it was it was a good first year. I think um, you know the lockout was tough at the start. I think um, there were a ton of guys down. It was kind of that trickle down effect. But um, you know, once I got more comfortable in the second half, um, you know, I started to relax a little out there, and um, you know, I thought uh, the first half was, was a tough transition for me, but um, I got better as it went, and it was uh, it was a good experience. Now, Greg, uh, you know, you were a big scorer in juniors. You know, forty goal guy last year, eight goals in your first year as a pro. Uh, how big a jump is it to go from playing in junior hockey to the American Hockey League? And secondly, you know, what do you tell the young kids today, the Tyler Biggs, the Stuart Percy's, you know, these guys that are coming in and, and going to get their first taste of pro hockey, and they, if they think that it's going to be an easy transition? Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's a big transition. I think, um, you know, for us last year, it was just trying to find, you know, anything we do to get in the lineup or stay in the lineup, whether it was you know, a checking role, a fourth line role. I mean, um, you know, coming in, you're always not going to be that go-to guy. And I think, um, you know, for some of us that were that in junior, it was, uh, you know, it was a difficult transition, but something you can gain a lot of experience from. Well, we talk about, uh, Greg, we, that jump from junior to the American Hockey League, and, and you have to wonder, that seems big. But how big do you think it is uh, between the National Hockey League and the American Hockey League now that you've, you've played with some of these guys? Yeah, it's... Um, is, it, is it as vast? I don't know if it's as vast. I mean, you have a lot of guys that were that have, are kind of bouncing around the National Hockey League and the AHL up and down all the time. And I think, um, you know, obviously up there it's bigger, stronger, faster. But, I mean, it's, um, you know, it's, people are more in position up there. It might be easier to find guys out there. So it's, um, you know, it's obviously it's a big difference, but I'm not sure how, how big it is. Coaches, you had Dallas Aikens last year. You have Steve Spot this year. What did you learn from Dallas and are you excited to uh, begin with Steve, a guy that you know from the OHL? Yeah, Dallas. Um, Dallas was an awesome coach last year, especially coming in as my first year. He's, um, you know, you can go in and talk to him anytime you want, and he was, um, you know, he's a good motivator. He's hard on you, but it, you know, it's it's for the best. And he was, he was awesome. And I think, um, you know, Spotter's probably going to be along the same lines. Um, played against him in junior. He always had a tough team to play against, and so far he seems like uh, he's going to be a great fit here. Now, uh, Greg. Uh you know, Todd talking about you getting your first taste of National Hockey League games uh, in the preseason here. What did the the train or the coaching staff and also the Leaf management say to Greg McCaig when they sent him down as far as what you need to do this year to continue your progression? Um, I think just to improve on my all-around game. I think um, you know, offensively, take more control in the offensive zone this year and. You know, maybe last year I it was my first year. Maybe I sat back a little rather than engaging. And I think this year it's you know it's time to dive right in and, and get engaged and play a lot more. What do you think the percentage is between uh, what you what you're going to have to bring out there mentally as opposed to you know to physically? Because that game seems to have uh, hit its mark for you. You seem to be doing everything uh, the right way. And I watched you over here at uh, training camp for the last week or so, and uh, and you're flying out there. Uh, is there a mental side to the game that you're also working on? Um. I think so. I think, um, you know, a big part of, of making that step is, um, you know, consistency and, you know, being prepared game in and game out. And I know to, to play in the NHL, that's that's what it takes is consistency, playing your best each and every night. And, you know, I think that's uh, that's what I'm trying to work on.